Hello everyone, Liliuk here. In today's video, we will be unboxing and reviewing this cute little portable washing machine that we purchased from Amazon. Should you have any questions along the way, feel free to drop a comment down below and I will do my best to assist you in the best way possible. With that being said, let's dive right in. So I was scrolling through Amazon one day and then I saw this cool little portable washing machine and I thought that it would be so cool to try it out and test it out. I do have a nine year old daughter. I figured this would be a fun, cool way to teach her how to wash her own clothes. I will definitely leave everything that I am using in this video down in the description box below for you guys. So I'm just going to open it up. It comes in your standard cardboard box. Upon opening it, we're greeted with a bunch of styrofoam. I ordered this maybe a week ago, so it came really, really fast. And then this is what it looks like. Let me turn it around for you guys so you can get a better view. I know they have different sizes on this machine. I got the 19 pound one. And this one easily lifts up without any problems whatsoever. So I thought that that was really cool. That means I can move this everywhere and it's never going to be in the way. They do have a 14 pound capacity one, a 28 pound capacity one, and a 19 pound capacity one. I figured I'd go for the middle one in between. And this is what it's looking like. It's the perfect size. Little was super excited as well. She couldn't wait to open it up, which is a good sign already and then when we open this is the spin cycle so it comes with the instruction manual and then it comes with your little top to put on top of your spin cycle and then it comes with your little hose to connect to your faucet and to the washer machine and then they have a cool little coupon which is really awesome and then here is the instruction machine they're very very simple very forward very easy to use so here we have the drainage hose it comes with a cool little clip on so that way it's not just in the way so you just clip it on and that's what's going to be used to get rid of all the dirty water and then i will be demonstrating that a little bit more further along in the video and then just to give you some sort of reference this is my nine-year-old daughter turning it around so it's not too heavy this can be moved by a child which is amazing as you can tell in the video my daughter is super excited she is super anxious and she can't wait to use it and then they do have these three knobs right here so they made this very easy to use the first one is the washer timer so you can set it at 0 3 9 12 or 15 minutes so depending on your load you would adjust that accordingly to whatever it is that you needed to get done and then the next knob is the drain selector so for this one is to drain out all the dirty water last one is just the spin cycle so you could spin it and then it actually does really really amazing i will be demonstrating that later on in the video so this is just the basic plastic tube it comes with i'm pretty sure you can pick up a more sturdy one at lowe's or home depot and it also comes with this little ring to tie in for your sink so that way it can adjust accordingly. So everything is looking good so far. This is just adjusting it to tighten it. And then the end of the hose just goes connected into the washing machine. So that way the water can pour into the wash cycle. And then in the next part, I will be demonstrating how we use this. So in the previous part, we connected that into the faucet. And then we connected the hose into the washer. We can see right here at the left corner. And then now we're going to turn on the water. And then now you see it pouring in. My little is super excited. She can't wait to throw the clothes in. But in the instruction manual, it says to pour the water, pour some laundry detergent soap, and then pour the clothes. So that's what we're going to do. So since it's a mini washer, we don't want to use too much laundry detergent. So I went ahead and just poured in about two tablespoons of laundry detergent. I do use a sensitive laundry detergent. Everything that I am using, I will go ahead and leave link down below for you guys. So, so far, so good. It's just pouring in all the water. And then next, we're going to go ahead and add the clothes. Get the seat in there. Push it in. Alrighty, so it says to lay all the clothes nice and flat. So that's what my daughter's doing here. My daughter loves playing outside. She loves changing. She's a little fashionista. So I thought that this would be a perfect way to teach her how to wash her own clothes instead of just throwing everything in the hamper. Maybe this will make her a little bit more mindful or think twice about changing multiple times a day. But she is definitely having fun. Here we turned off the water just to see if we were going to need more for her small load. So here we're just determining if we're going to need a little bit more water or if it's the perfect level for this wash. So here we determined we needed a little bit more water. So then we just went ahead and turned on the faucet. Very simple to add more water. So that's what we're doing here. 
so we're gonna head and just close that right up and then we are going to turn it to nine minutes since it's a small load we decided to try out nine minutes to see how it does and immediately it starts spinning we lifted up the lid to see if it would turn off but it doesn't it continues spinning so in case you needed to add another shirt or two you can definitely go ahead and do so 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 far so good for small little loads i'm definitely loving this machine So that's what it sounds like it's not too bad in person but you can definitely hear it washing um, it depends on where you put it where you place it it might be a little bit loud to some people but to me it didn't bother me at all whatsoever Alrighty, and then this is what it looked like after the second wash cycle so now we're going to go ahead and drain all of that water so we're going to go to the three little knobs and then we're just going to turn it and hit drain and then while we're doing this we have to make sure that we have a bucket or old bucket or anything you have so that way the water can drain too so here we see it trickling like very very slowly because it was on the floor but we noticed in the next clip if we raised it the water comes out so much quicker if we can see the difference it's pouring out so it just has to be elevated a little bit just so that way the water can pour out quickly and now it's time to throw it into the spin cycle i didn't know if i was supposed to just throw the clothes in there or if i was supposed to wring it out a bit first so in this clip i'm just wringing it out a bit but since using this i have used it a handful more of times and you don't have to wring it out you can just throw it in and it's going to dry it perfectly but in this video i didn't know that i just went ahead and wring out all the clothes but you definitely don't have to do this step you can just throw it into the spin cycle and it's definitely going to dry it for you but i am definitely so happy that we purchased this little portable washing machine we are all obsessed with it and all we have to do is put the top on it and then turn the spin cycle to whatever it is you'd like and then immediately it starts spinning and then these are used by timer so you can hear in the background the timer going off and then the spinning cycle i didn't know that if you don't put too much clothes it does ruffle around a lot more but not too bad for a portable home washing machine i think that this is an excellent 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 washing machine i definitely recommend it i will go ahead and leave this one that i have here linked down in the description box below for you guys but i've used it like maybe five six more times since recording this video and i love it i've had the audio playing this whole spin cycle and if you can see it's kind of barely even there so this is awesome and then once the spin cycle is done we just open it up and i was super impressed by how dry these got they're not completely dry like from an actual dryer but for the spin cycle themselves they probably would need to be maybe hung to dry for the rest of it that's what we did for these and they were dried within by about an hour because we had a fan facing towards it but definitely definitely recommend this product i am obsessed with it i think you need this no i know you need this especially if you have little children who are always constantly changing this is a game changer and more so if you live in small little apartments or you don't want to share washing machines with anybody definitely pick this up i just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video should you have any questions at all feel free to drop a comment down below and i will do my best to assist you in the best way possible i do have tiktok facebook instagram and twitter i would greatly appreciate the support over there once again thank you so so much for watching and have a good one